Hello Leo, welcome to my channel. Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot and this is your new moon in Capricorn reading for January 2nd, 2022. This is a super moon. This is an excellent time of year to set some intentions to embark on a manifestation journey. This new moon energy coincides and overlaps with New Year's. So it's a great time to wrap things up, to make some final decisions on some things that maybe you're looking to change or improve in your life and a great time to start on the right foot for the year ahead. 2021 was filled with chaos and ups and downs and upheavals and uncertainty throughout the year. 2022 with the three twos resonating there for you. A little bit more balance, partnerships, a little bit more harmony in our lives in 2022, shaping up to be a much better year. It might not start off that way, but it certainly is, has a light at the end of the tunnel. So the new moon is perfect to harness this brand new energy that is coming in, okay? This energy of, you know, starting new projects, starting new things, a fresh way of thinking, okay? Welcoming in a little bit more balance and harmony and peace into our lives as well. This uh, 2022 with the three twos, it's a six year. Sixes do have to do with, um, you know, with a little bit more balance and harmony into our lives. Also has us focusing on the important things such as, you know, your health, your well-being, your work, career, family, relationships, all of those kind of things, the important things in life, the things that give us some stability and security. <clears throat> so, Let's start and let's pull some cards for you guys. Um, this new moon is happening in your sixth house. Okay, your sixth house has to do with your health, your well-being, um, it brings about some healing. Okay, this is where you may be making some, setting some really good intentions to start an exercise regime, maybe eat better. Okay, this is also about your daily routines, what you do day to day, how you help other people. All right, and also may have to do with, oddly, oddly enough, pets. Okay, so some of you might be considering getting a new pet or adding to your little four-legged furry uh, society that you may have going on in your house, or uh, if you go that way, your multi-legged friend or your no-leg friends, okay, pets come in all shapes and sizes. We think of cats and dogs and things, but some people have rodents, some people have reptiles, some people have arachnids, uh, anyway, so whatever that happens to be for you. All right, so let's see what energy that we've got that we can use for you guys and oh look we've got the peace energy coming in okay it's about finding your inner peace your outer peace letting things go that no longer serve you are there people or situations or habits or behaviors that you don't want to carry through with with 20 with 2020 excuse me with 2022 maybe there's something that you've been putting off for a while okay the peace energy also brings in our ability to forgive release and let go so there may be situations from your past where you still got some energy you still got something lingering there and your way to your path forward to finding this inner peace to finding this healing that comes in with your sixth house by the way is to let go is to find the way to find that forgiveness within you. And then you can let go of some energies. You can clear out some energies. I can already hear someone say, no, I have a, you know, I have someone in my past and what they did to me is completely unfor unforgivable. And I kind of go back sometimes to, you know, those uh, situations, you see them on the news sometimes, right? Where you know, someone has done some something grievously wrong, you know, committed murder and things like that. And then you get like the parents or the family of the victim. And, you know, they say on the news that we've forgiven this person. And you sit there and you watch and you're like, how the hell can you do that? Right? They just they took someone's life or, you know, they did something, um, something else really wrong. And you're thinking, how in the world can you do that? These people have come to the realization, they've done their soul searching and reflection that in order for them to move forward, in order for them to find their inner peace, in order for them to process their grief and so that they can go on with their day by day, they have to find that forgiveness and they have to release and let it go. Does it mean that, you know, this person who did something wrong, does it mean their sins are forgiven or all this kind of stuff? No, but it's the people that, you know, have been affected they know they have this inner knowing 
that in order for them to move forward, they've got to find this, right? And, you know, it's not their job to dole out karma or justice, right? It's someone else's job. It's the universe's job. It's the judicial system's job. So, you know, sometimes we do need to do that, okay? Even if people have done us super, super wrong in our lives, right? We do need to do that to find our way forward, to have us start on that fresh foot. It's hard to do if you've ever been in difficult situations where someone has really, really done you wrong, okay? But this is your ability to release all of that and to let go. We can also, we talk about forgiving other people as well. What about forgiving yourself? As humans, we do have uh, habits of blaming ourselves or harboring, uh, you know, guilt for what someone else has done. We sometimes, we, we quite often as humans internalize that, right? Someone does us wrong and we automatically blame ourselves. We think that we've done something wrong. So forgiveness of self is actually the most important. So use this energy to release and let go, to find this inner peace, even let go of fears, worries, doubts, bad habits, patterns, and behaviors so that you can lift up your energy and that you can move forward. We also have Taurus energy, some earthly energy here and detoxify. <laughs> Interesting. So <clears throat> I have to chuckle just a little bit here, Leo, because the detoxify message, the energy that comes out of this one is about releasing anything lower vibe, anything that is hindering you, no longer serving you, right? Those toxic situations, those patterns, those habits, those behaviors, the energy that is holding you back, that grief, uh, the grief, the guilt, um, you know, the resentment, the anger, okay, all of these things. And this beautiful energy is coming in here to show you that you can release things, you can move forward, and you can overcome things. And then this brings you that peace, this inner peace. Sometimes we need to take a, a grounded and practical approach to things with that Taurus energy, okay, that earthly energy. And, you know, sometimes we just need to start, we just need to start somewhere, okay. And let's say you're you're looking to um, make better choices with you know your diet okay or start an exercise regime you know what sometimes we you know we start out biting off more than we can chew people wonder why New Year's resolutions never work right and how many people actually complete their New Year's resolutions Ugh, very few because we make them too big we make them almost unattainable let's say your your goal for 2022 is to lose 50 pounds you know how hard it is to lose 50 pounds okay I've done it believe me actually I lost 100 and something but anyways but it's hard right but when we just take one day at a time and we break down our goals and we just set intentions instead okay and we break things down into smaller chunks okay you're looking to start exercise okay great you know what the first uh, the first hurdle is deciding what exercise to do okay or if you're looking to change your diet okay have a, do you have a plan? Where do you want to start, right? You got to start somewhere. So that's the first chunk is start figuring out how to start something. The second one might be, okay, I'm going to set my intention this month, not the year, this month, I'm going to do this, this, and this. No more than three, no more than three. Okay, maybe even just one to have some focus, right? And you, when you break things down into monthly intentions, your goals, amazingly enough, are that much easier to achieve. So, <clears throat> start somewhere start small those little baby steps okay and then you will make those improvements in the areas of your life that you're looking to make improvements in or you will be taking those baby steps to let things go that no longer serve you because why they are affecting your ability to find that inner peace and when you have this peace within you can project that peace externally as well so some of you are certainly possibly letting some things go all right, and we do quite often have that at the beginning of the year, right? People are looking at their relationships and partnerships and thinking, okay, do I really want this going forward? Is this something, you know, is this situation um, going to carry me through 2022? And some of you are having a really good practical look at things in your life. And if something is no longer good for your higher good, your higher purpose, or in alignment with who you are now or your goals, then we have that ability to peacefully let something go. So let's have a look at your energy coming out. We've got creativity, 
consciousness. Beautiful. Reflection. And we have balance. I love this coming out for you guys here, Leo. Okay, the creativity, okay? We want to release anything that we don't want to have with us to create the future, to create the life that we're looking for, okay? You have the ability to create and manifest anything in that you really want. Get that clarity, know you know what you want, and you have the ability to, um, to create that. So when we get the creativity energy here and what you're releasing, okay, what is blocking you? What is preventing you from creating the life that you want? What is, you know, is it your own patterns, habits? It's behaviors, ways of thinking. Is it your own, um, your own energy? Are you harboring those lower vibe energies? You know, fear, worry, doubt, guilt, um, anger. Okay, resentment. All of those wonderful energies. Okay, or is it situations that are external? Is it your current um, working environment, your home environment? Okay, whatever that is, you have the ability to really shine a light on your goals and your dreams and really create something wonderful. And for some of you, this is just something within you. For some, it's, you know, a small tweak, a small change that you might be looking for in your lives. Um, you know, the creativity energy can sometimes show that we have the ability to create boundaries, healthy boundaries as well in our lives. Okay. And that puts us back on track, right? It really does allow us to move forward. So anything that is preventing you from creating that life that you want, okay, is really that detoxify, let go. Consciousness. You need to be able to trust your intuition and to trust and connect with your higher self. The consciousness energy here shows that you are leveling up. You are really harnessing all the powers of the universe. You're bringing things into your your bringing the universal energy into the material world, into the earthly plane. You're connecting your dreams, okay, with your reality. And the consciousness card shows here that you are raising your vibration, you're raising your consciousness, you're finding that peace, okay? And, you know, the journey, okay, the journey to uh, enlightenment, shall we say, okay, is not always easy. It's also not fast, Sometimes, especially to find your, attain this inner peace, okay, or this external peace, okay, the peace energy in general, peace, enlightenment, um, you know, is a little bit of a journey, okay, especially if you've got energies that you're needing to clear out or situations that you need to clear out because when we do elevate our consciousness when we raise our vibration we find often that things in our lives that at one point were really important are no longer part of our future but the consciousness energy really does show that you have a greater understanding, a greater wisdom of your past, your present, your future, of the collective energies that are all around the universe and, you know, all of those mysteries of the universe too. So, you know, this is really something to be aware of going forward. Okay, is that, you know, some days we have really good days, okay, where we're feeling connected, we're feeling at peace, we're feeling one with the universe, okay, we're, um, you know, we're connected with our higher selves, we're trusting our intuition, and then we have the off days, we're human, okay, then we have those off days where we feel disconnected, where we feel, um, you know, a little bit of turmoil. So what spirit really wants you to be aware of is in those times when you're not feeling connected, okay, find that way. Don't worry about it. Okay. For one, don't worry. Everyone has off days. Okay. If you're trying to, um, you know, attract new people, new things, new situations in your life, if you're trying to make those better changes, if you fall off the rails a little bit, or if you're not progressing as fast as you want, okay, don't worry about it. All right put it to the side. Okay. Start fresh tomorrow. Okay. We have life as those series of ups and downs. And when you're, um, when you're trying to make improvements, when you're, um, you know, trying to understand some mysteries of the universe or attract those things into your life, it's not instant. Okay. And so remember to trust your intuition, to expand your knowledge, your, um, your vibration, okay, to find that inner peace and don't worry if sometimes things don't go your way or things don't happen fast. The consciousness energy is also bringing awareness to the fact that, <clears throat> excuse me, 
that sometimes when, as we raise our vibration and as we expand our consciousness, it's like, think of your peripheral vision, okay? It's like all of a sudden I can see way beyond the edge of my eyesight, okay? And as we do level up, each time we do level up in that energy, we tend to find things that we thought that we had dealt with, okay? And we find this hidden energy. And in true human form, sometimes we think that we've dealt with something in our lives or we think that we've dealt with a past a past situation. And as we raise our consciousness, okay, we quite often find things that it's kind of the energetic equivalent of sweeping something under the rug. It's like, I'm done with it. I can't see it anymore. It's not affecting me until you go and move that rug to vacuum, okay, or until you redecorate or something like that, right? So we quite often do find things at the edge of our, uh, at the edge of our consciousness every time we do level up and expand our um, expand our energy and understanding and step into a deeper level of enlightenment. So you may find things there, um, especially if you're on a spiritual journey, you may find things that you thought you had dealt with. Don't worry about it. Everyone goes through it. So just bring yourself back to center. Give yourself permission to examine and to understand those energies and why those things are, are still there. And then you have that uh, another chance, another opportunity to release, kiss them goodbye, and continue on with your journey. The reflection card. This is really what we're attracting, okay? Things that are a reflection of you. What you put out there is what you attract back, okay? When you look in the mirror and tell yourself that you love yourself, all right, you attract more love back in your life. When you embrace peace, you attract peace. If you embrace, um, I don't know, uh, if you're on a spiritual path, a spiritual journey, right, and you're projecting all this wonderful warm energy out into the universe, you're gonna attract that back. So this is really, that reminder is so powerful here, Leo, I gotta tell you, okay? I mean, anytime if you are on a manifestation journey or even if you're not, okay, we're always actually, con we're always manifesting things into our life whether we realize it or not, okay? And wherever your attention goes is where your energy flows, okay? And wherever our energy flows, that energy expands. So we want to make sure that where we're putting our focus or the energy that we're projecting out into the universe is actually positive and for our best and highest good. And it's what we want to attract. And that bounces back. Okay. Think of that reflection in the mirror, right? You tell yourself in the mirror, you look in the mirror and you say, I love you. It's hard to do, by the way. Okay. You say, I love you. And those words reverberate back to you. Okay, so it really is your ability to attract the right people, the right situations, the right things. Like attracts like. The energy that you put out is what is coming back to you. Okay, the energy that you project is what flows back to you. Okay, that reflection. This is also the ability here, okay, with what you're attracting in, the ability to come into the deeper understanding of your own personal energy. And it's also your ability here to have a deeper, uh, a deeper look at your habits, your patterns, your behaviors, your way of thinking, your way of doing things, and look in that mirror about how you project yourself out to the world and see if you're happy with what comes back to you, right? If you were to, let's say, you know, let's say you have a difficult situation, right? You got an argument with a coworker or something like that, right? Or a family member. How do you deal with that? And if you were to take yourself out of that situation and look, you know, kind of like, um, you know, kind of like Scrooge, right? You know, looking into his own life from the, from the, um, from the edge, right? And if you were watching your life as a movie, right? How do you like how you deal with, deal with things, right? So this is really giving you that ability to have this deeper reflection and this deeper look on how you deal with things in your life and decide, is that really the image that I want to project? Is that what I want to really be putting out there? And there's that detoxify energy coming in. So it's really deep energy that's coming in here for you, Leo. But your overall outcome is your ability to find balance and harmony in your life. Yay. The balance card here shows that, <clears throat> excuse me, if something is not in alignment, 
with you, your goals, your aspirations, your energy, um, your outlook, okay? Anything that's threatening to throw uh, a chink in the a chink in the chain a monkey wrench into your engine here okay and throw you off kilter off balance all right you have the ability to either find that balance okay to reset um, that situation or make the changes that you need to make to find that balance and harmony in your life okay and for some people it's simply um, it, some people it's simply a difference between you know a work home life balance right? Especially with this being your sixth house, right? You're looking to do things that are for your best and highest good things that affect your health um, and your well-being. And so work home life balance is a huge factor in that, right? Um, it can also be that, uh, you know, that energy there where are you the type of person who, you know, who does everything for everyone else and you forget to treat number one the way number one should be treated, okay? And, you know, so don't forget to take care of yourself and your own needs. So it feels like in the year ahead, you'll be finding a better, healthier balance in your life, okay? And this really does um, put you um, put you in 2022 as being on the right foot of gaining a good solid foundation getting both feet on the ground and feeling like you're in a really good spot a really good space so let's see what else we've got and we've got achievement look at this keep focused on your dream don't give up set your intentions there's a lot of blessings that are headed your way there's a lot of enlightenment headed your way as well so card number c no, some, excuse me number 17 relates back to the star card the star card brings balance and healing into your life blessings flow your way your ability to harness the powers of the universe and bring them down to earth in your reality okay that aquarian energy that's coming in your ability to level up or to start something new and to follow your goals and your dreams okay so um, remember back to New Year's resolutions right the reason why most people uh, you know drop them <laughs> after the first month is because we bite off more than we can chew so instead of having a whole New Year's resolution for the year start off align your intentions with the new moon cycles and then you know and then you know start things break things down into smaller chunks it's easier to handle and you will have more um more opportunities to find that success through the year and achieve your goals or your intentions right and to you know be able to ha give yourself a pat on the back so you know if you're looking to you know maybe lose weight in the year ahead right and you're like oh i want to lose 50 pounds oh god please don't set your intention that i need to lose 50 pounds okay take the pounds out of it all right and want to flip that script just a little bit and flip your intentions around a little bit and break it down into those monthly chunks okay how do you how do you lose weight well maybe eating better is number one um you know maybe having a better relationship with food is number two people have people do have horrific relationships with, with food sometimes okay um and just set those small little intentions right first i'm gonna i'm gonna cut out sugar number one addiction okay i'm gonna cut out sugar start there set your intention at the beginning of the month and then see where you're at at the next uh, at the next new moon and then you add something else on there right? And if you break it down into chunks, you will have much more ability to achieve long-term success, but you can do that in any area of your life, but whatever it is, stay focused, okay? Set your intentions clearly and you will achieve what you set out to achieve. We also have perception coming in here beyond the veil of illusion. Your chakras are open. Your third eye is open. Look at this, right? We've got the third eye right there. You have the ability to attract the right people into your life whose vibration, whose consciousness matches yours. You have the ability to see things differently, to see things from different angles, perspectives, points of view. And you really do have this deeper connection with the universe. You have the ability to see clearly, the ability to see beyond today and well into tomorrow. Okay, so trust your visions. Trust that third eye 
eye of yours, right? What do you imagine? This is really your time to be able to take those steps to create that life that you really do imagine. But the perception energy allows you to see things from every angle perspective in your 3D realm, your human realm, in your 5D realm, your spiritual realm, right? Your higher vibration and, you know, to really harness all of those wonderful energies and to use them um, to your distinct advantage, but to have an open mind, to have an open heart and to really have faith and trust in yourself and the energies that flow around you as well. So I'm going to leave that there for you. All right, Leo, I hope there was something here that resonated with you in some way. If there was, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you guys have a happy new moon, happy manifesting, happy new year. And um, I thank you for watching. And you may also want to, by the way, check out your moon rising and Venus sign readings as well. Um, and I say Venus because um, this new moon occurs right before the alignment with Venus and Neptune, bringing in a dreamy quality um, into, uh, into your intentions, into your manifestations as well. So perfect time to follow your dreams, set those intentions. Okay. And, um, you know, attract, uh, things that you can only right now dream of, right? Those visions that you've got in your third eye. It's your ability to manifest them into your reality. So I thank you for watching Leo. Um, I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you next time. Bye.